God selects his soldiers, not for their muscle or brains or good looks, but for their sincere hearts. The Sunday school prepares us for that, to be chosen warriors in the army of our Lord. Today, we present to you the 300 soldiers who fought without a single weapon. The time is long before Israel had a king, and the people were constantly attacked by Midianites. Israel cries out to God in sorrow, and God visits Gideon, transforming him from a timid man to a courageous man. And so the Midianites gathered together, so many that they couldn't be counted. They figured that no one could fight them and they could take whatever they want. Ha 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 ha! Look at those Israelis! They are so weak! They run and hide when they see us! Pathetic! Ha 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 ha! O oh Lord God of Israel, the Midianites are planning to raid us again. This time, I think that they'll take everything and leave us to starve. Won't you help your people? I feel a sense of purpose that God is with me. Let me send a message to all the people to gather to fight against the Midianites. God bless the Israelites with courage so that 32,000 of them gathered from various tribes. I am so happy to see all of you. Now I have got good news. Anyone who is afraid to fight the Midianites may go home. Sir, reporting on the size of the army. Sir, 22,000 of the cowboys are deserted. Sir, total number of troops are at 10,000. Mm, sir, are you sure about this? The Midianites are uncountable in them. Hmm. God told me what to do and I did it. This army is clearly too big. I think we should send more men home. Okay, soldiers, you think you're tough? You think you're brave? Let's see if you can drink water from the stream. Line up and drink when Gideon gives you the command. At the count of three, each one of you is to take a drink from that stream. One, two, three. Sir, are you sure about this? Most of the soldiers are drinking water like animals and lapping water directly out of the stream. Okay, thank you. Now that test is done. Now, if you were tapped on the shoulder, please remain. The rest may please go to your home. So, there are only 300 men left. Each one of them can have a trumpet for himself. Oh God, we have only 300 men left. How can we battle the Midianites unless you help us? That night, God spoke to Gideon and told him that he should take his servant with him and sneak down into the enemy camp and listen. And so, Gideon and his servant snuck down to the enemy camp. As they went, they were amazed by the number of Midianites in the camp, like sand of the seashore. Gideon and Pura were just behind one of the enemy tents. What a strange dream I had! It is for to stop eating all those peppers. No, seriously. It was a real odd dream. I dreamed there was this big cake of barley. It rolled down the hill and into our camp and knocked our tent flat. It's a big cake of barley. I think it means that Gideon is going to defeat us in battle. Gideon could immediately see that God was showing him that he would fight for them. So he quickly gathered his men. Come on, wake up, wake up, Joe, let's go! Wake up, let's go for battle, come on! The Lord has given the enemy in our hands. Are you all ready? Yes, sir. Each of us has our own light torch, clay pot and our own trumpet. Good. Now, light your torches and put them in your clay pot. And follow me to the camp. When you hear my trumpet, Smash your pots, reveal your torches, and blow your trumpets. Um, sir, any more instructions? Where do we tell them to drop their trumpets and take out their swords? 
They won't need their swords. God will fight for us. Whatever you say, sir. And the army set out in the middle of the night. They divided into three groups of hundred men and surrounded the camp. Then Gideon gave the signal. Then the Lord put fear in the hearts of the Midianites, so that they began to attack one another. Soon, a full-fledged battle was raging in the Midianite camp. The Midianite army fled back toward their own home, killing one another as they ran. Whatever the challenge is, God will show you the way to overcome it. Trust in God. Follow him and you will see amazing victories in your life. Amen.